to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Thank you for being here. So this week is a very important week. We have the full moon, blood moon in Aries on Friday the 27th. And it is a blood moon, so it has a shadow of the sun, which makes it look orangey, red-ish. And it's the first blood moon of 2023. And it's the last one as well. And, you know, it is, the emotions are very... Um, potent on a full moon and especially in a fire sign like Aries ruled by Mars. Um, Mars right now is transiting through Scorpio, the very emotional, um, the very emotional deep energy of Scorpio. It has to do with the deep secret part of the self that's hidden um, and Mars wants to go forward, be ambitious, you know, be very investigative, look into things deeply. So this full moon is in opposition because every full moon has an opposition. An opposition is going to be a big contrast. The big contrast is the sun, which is the masculine, moving forward, taking action, giving growth and warmth and energy to Venus, which is Libra. Venus rules over Libra. It's an empress energy. It's the goddess of abundance. And this energy is all about peace, self-respect, what's fair, what's equal for everyone. And that is in opposition to this Aries energy of an intense emotional experience. And it is conjunct Saturn uh, retrograde in Pisces. So past karma, past things, things that are unfinished in the house of spiritual or belief systems, intuition, magical, mystical. Um, I think it's like a connection to your higher self or God. Um, it's, you know, having faith, basically. Being disciplined, you know, maybe finishing something that you didn't finish. So being disciplined in the house of your faith. So... You know, it's a very important week because of the buildup to the full moon has a very intense energy too. You can sort of feel the power of the full moon coming and then the full moon itself, you can take a ritual bath or do something to heal yourself or to cleanse yourself or your environment of any negative energy. And then um, after the full moon as well, the energy is still sort of there. So Aries is the god of war, ruled by Mars. It's a very powerful energy. It can be an overreaction with the full moon. It can be ambitious or aggressive. Um, Aries is all about getting things started, getting things done, getting things started. Um, and Libra is an opposite to Aries. It's not a sister sign. It's uh, an opposition it's the polar opposite to Aries. It's a partnership. It's what's fair for all. Aries is about the ego and the self and what's good for the I am. And it's not really concerned with the other, you know, somebody in the group or a collective. It's more about the self, the identity, the personality or the person. Um, so Aries also has that Mars transit right now. Mars is going through Scorpio and it is at home in Scorpio and it rules over Scorpio, the house of life cycles, death and rebirth and everything in between, including every other people's money. Um, so it's actually a pretty good time for business. Um, there is a Jupiter in Taurus energy going on right now that can be very lucrative, especially if you have a new or different idea, which is Uranus energy is also in Taurus. So anything else about this blood moon? Blood moons can be seen as troublesome. Um, there can be some kind of karma because the moon is going to be conjunct Saturn in Pisces. So Saturn is you will reap what you sow and Pisces is the hidden self. It's a water sign energy 
and it's about the things that are hidden, um, secrets, mysticism, mystical. Um, Pisces is very quiet and wants to escape into the other realms of fantasy. But Pisces can be very aggressive. It is King Poseidon, um, someone very strong and very determined. Although it is a mutable sign, it's a kind of a go with the flow sign like Sagittarius. Um, all right, so let's see what your weekly reading is for Aries here coming up on the 22nd through the 20, say, 7th or 8th. So Spirit, please show us what's coming up for Aries, the first house. Okay, we have a Six of Cups. There could be a focus on uh, the past. Um, nostalgia, feeling nostalgic. Um, it's saying embrace your inner child. You could have some new friends or rekindled relationships. Um, to me, also Six of Cups. It is a water sign. It's the way you feel on the inside. Um, it's introspective. And that can also be siblings, people you grew up with. Um, there's a focus on the past. So let's see. There could be a person from the past coming back if it's literal. All right. Wow, we have Pisces energy coming up with the High Priestess. So there's something about listening to your intuition. You know, your intuition here won't steer you in the wrong direction. We have a seven of pentacles yet again. This has been the theme of the month. Looking at your finances, looking at your money, be, making wise choices, being patient, review, reviewing your progress, and making plans for your next endeavor. Make sure whatever you're doing has growth attached to it. Is it growing? Is it going to be successful for me? Is there going to be something real for me? Um, you know, is, is this, can I afford it? If you're looking to buy something. This is like a focus on what have I invested in? But with the High Priestess, there could be something about secrets, secrecy, you know something, you you have an intuition or a hunch. Okay, we have here, uh, this is the Hierophant. Surround yourself with wise teachers. So to me, it says divine guidance. So you could be receiving some Im wise information from some kind of spiritual person or counselor or leader but it is a very spiritual energy. It's somebody with, you know, experience. It's a major arcana for divine wisdom. We have a two of pentacles. You are making a great choice. Progress is possible. You could be handling multiple things as well. You could be, um, actually, I'm sorry, that's a two of wands in this deck. There's something you may find exciting or inspiring. You want to take action. You're trying to decide your next steps. Okay, recent past here is a Four of Cups. Wanting to find a new possibility, a new adventure. Something is either not inspiring, not making you happy, or it's just... It, it's kind of boring or, you know, there's just something where it's not something you're really very fond of. You have the card here of solutions. Success comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. I believe that's the temperance card. So like I said, be temperate, be moderate, handle your emotions this week, especially when by Friday the moon will be in Aries the first house. So let's see what we have here for the external environment. The world card, a happy ending coming full circle, receiving great success or insight. Okay. 
a six of swords light at the end of tunnel the tunnel breathe a sigh of release um something is about smooth sailing coming in for you coming out of some kind of like uh stressful situation things will get easier for you and what's this outcome about here nice Queen of Pentacles underlying Taurus Capricorn Virgo. We have the Justice Major Arcana for something will be made fair, balanced, or equal. Justice and equality, a ruling in your favor. Um, something maybe that was unfair will be made fair, especially with the Six of Swords and the world and your energy here in Solutions. Temperance. Being patient. There was a queen of water that came out with it. There could be any Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. It's also saying follow your heart. Trust your intuition. Okay, you had a high priestess energy here. Oh, wow. Okay. We have a big victory. You're overcoming a challenge. The chariot. There could also be a cancer. Cancer energy. Very determined. Having self-control career advancement, um, overcoming any stumbling blocks and moving forward. Okay, the chariot is a major arcana for success through the power of the will. Ace of Swords, you get truth and clarity. A wonderful new idea, okay, or truth. Okay, show us what else for Aries this week. So the chariot, there's something where you feel like you have to do, take immediate action. The three of pentacles. So you are going to be doing something you love, working with others in a cooperative manner. I also see it as exponential growth of your money. If you start something, it will start to earn income and you will start to flourish. If it's a new business, there will be developments. Okay, we have the Fool card. Believe in yourself, taking a leap of faith. They call it leap of faith. But the Fool represents a new beginning. It's also burdens are off your shoulders. There's no pressure with the Fool. The Fool is living in the moment, free. Oh my gosh, we have here the Sun card. Underlying, we have the Sun. Happiness, joy, great success. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking. You are an inspiring success here. And underlying is the Lovers. Making choices from your heart, to me also the lovers, it's Gemini, so it's the choices you make to reconcile. Seven of Wands, stand up for what you believe in, reclaim your power, and the Emperor. Here we have the Emperor energy, stability and efficiency, taking charge, ambitious plans, and Nine of Pentacles behind it. Okay, so we have the sun that you don't see. And, you know, for some reason, perhaps maybe you don't feel like there is hope in some kind of situation. Um, listen to your intuition this week. Uh, full moons bring an enhanced intuition. Um, moon energy is mysterious, thoughtful, reflective. It's quiet. It takes time. You can't rush through the moon. You know, you have to take your time and listen and reflect. And you have to pay attention to what your gut is telling you or your third eye or your connection to spirit. So, oh wow, okay. We got the devil in the tower. Interesting. So there's something here that could be occurring that's unforeseen. 
Your energy is solutions, temperance. There's a king of the swords. Okay, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You could also be saying no or establishing a boundary. There's fire here. Okay, passion, energy, new fire, new excitement. Could be a trigger as well. Strength card and the sun. Brave, bravery, internal strength, inner strength, enduring something. Um, and then we have here the sun card. So happiness, joy, great success, positive energy, optimism, growth, the illumination. There could be something where the light is shining on something here. We have justice, which is Libra as your final outcome. And then we also have cancer. So we have a cardinal sign. Nine of Pentacles, independent, standing on your own two feet, having everything you want and you need. What else? Wow, you're kidding. Nice. Even better. <laughs> the moon. You don't know about something here that's going to happen. You don't see this coming. Um, something is going to be decided in your favor. So we have first the Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter energy of positive change. We have uh, the Ten of Cups, a lot of happiness and bliss. We have a Two of Cups, harmony in a partnership, um, a con divine connection, a soul connection. Can't really see the Two of Cups here, but Two of Water. And we have a Nine of Cups. So we have a wish coming true, success or the Nine of Cups is emotional satisfaction, celebration, celebratory energy, the feeling of, you know, great joy, great happiness. Um, so we got the sun a couple of times showing up here in this reading. The sun is life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking. <clears throat> You're an inspiring success. Aries is the first house. Um, Aries is the, the Mars energy of action. It is a masculine. Um, so, you know, it requires action. You know, you can't just lay around and hope that something will happen. Aries is about making it happen. Queen of Pentacles again in the moon. Okay. There could be some money coming your way. Seven of Cups. Four of coin. There could be someone who is holding back, saving. Okay, what else? The judgment. There's a renewal, a revival, a resurrection, God's divine timing. Okay, so something is occurring here in the Ace of Water. Powerful new feelings. So I know like a couple of other, there's been some news or word on the street that this full moon is going to be an ace of cups it's going to be an extremely powerful new feeling that you may have here we have the fool card behind there so there could be some kind of new beginning that you are going through um, there's a queen of water attached to this there's a benefit six of pentacles and hangman there could have been something that was hanging in the balance on pause on hold so there is something real coming in. It is requiring a leap of faith where you would trust that everything is going to work out in your favor. Okay, so let's see what we're getting here for you, Aries, for this week. With this full moon Friday. <laughs> Regeneration. Something new and truth. Oh, wow. So you're getting some clarity, some truth, Libra energy, um, and Scorpio. Um, so we have a regeneration, a renewal. Oh, we got the land of milk and honey here underlying. So the land of milk and honey is a very, very positive card. It means you will have everything you've, you've wanted or it will all be available to you. Clean it up. Okay, there could be something here where you have to do some kind of work or action to correct a situation. 
um, a card falling on the floor is the card of blessed. You are very, very blessed this week. And that is the judgment energy too. I see the, the judgment as a divine blessing, a, a divine calling. Oh my God, now we're getting the, the treasure chest. The treasure chest is wealth coming into you, financial success, wealth. Okay, water energy just fell out, the yin, which is also intuitive. You have to pay attention to, you know, what is your heart telling you? What is your soul telling you? We do have a soulmate's energy here, which could be anyone. This is, you know, a divine, a person who you're supposed to meet and have a divine connection. You're between worlds. Okay, so this has been coming for quite a while now. The between worlds to me is like, it doesn't happen overnight. It's something where you're going from one phase to another and it does look like it's arriving this week through the power of Libra. So Libra is peace. It is Venus. It's peaceful, you know, negotiation. It's peaceful partnership. Um, diplomacy, being very diplomatic and fair. Um, even when things don't seem fair, it's like you have to make something be fair. Um, it also can be justice served for you if you were done wrong. Because we did have the devil here with the tower with the king of swords, which seems like somebody is making a final decision against something that was unfair or illegal or just wrong. And you are coming out as a nine of pentacles with the sun and the queen of coin energy here where you have more than enough. You have sufficiency. You have more than enough. There was a six of pentacles there. Um, there's a lot of happiness. There's a ten of cups. And it is happening in divine timing because of the wheel of fortune. So I'm going to leave this here for you, Aries. Thank you so very much for watching. And I will see you next time. Bye, Aries.